Uh, so this is my presentation on learning. So how I was first introduced to MPS was by other students taking the course, telling me that it's all about group learning, and it was basically three classes. The reason why I wanted to join MPS was because it was because I wasn't really good at group work. So I really wanted to improve it by taking this class. And from the description of it, it made it appear to me that it was also going to be fun. After experience this past semester in the program, I can say that it was not as free as people said it was. So over the past semester, I had to face off with many blends. I had skills that helped me through the semester to be these blends. I have many reasons why I chose my superhero name, but I felt that this was the best reason. So my name is the turtle, and I always try to do things on time, but never get to it until the last minute. Many of the other reasons why I'm like the turtle is because I like to go at my own pace, and the turtles are known to be quite slow. And also, I may not know at first what someone is talking about, but over time, I will finally figure it out. So my biggest enemy was procrastination. I never did things until the day they were due, and right, right before the class was about to start. I've always had trouble with procrastinating, especially at a younger age. I was never able to keep working more than 10 minutes. And after I was halfway through, I began to do other things than a longer time period than what I was working for. This was definitely my biggest enemy here. With the help of my friend time management, I was able to take procrastination down. Time management had to do two things earlier than they were due and keep a steady pace of doing work each day. Over time, I began to go back to my old habits and procrastinated. But this time, I wasn't able to get rid of it. I wasn't able to finish some of the work because I was too busy with other things and hadn't done an assignment until the class before it. This meant my work was very sloppy and I hadn't done a good job. <laughs> Procrastination was my main enemy in the second quarter and I felt this made my grade come lower than what it was before. With time management and focus, I was able to get rid of procrastination and when it was gone, I was able to turn my work in in time. Procrastination still gets to me sometimes, but I know now that if I do procrastinate, I will have to be ready to face the consequences that I might have to face. So, public speaking was a big part of my life and had helped me in many challenges that I had to face. While I was able to have the skill of public speaking, I really only got over my fear of in the middle of the first quarter. My presentation skills were very bad, and I hadn't got very many good grades for presenting. This was happening because of nervousness. As I felt nervous, I found out that this was a big thing because it was impacting me while I was doing presentations. I wasn't able to speak as clearly and have bad posture as I was speaking. Even though I still feel nervous at times while speaking, I know that I have to clear my mind and just talk. Doing this had made me conquer my fear of nervousness and made me better at public speaking, especially with presentations. Acquiring the skill of public speaking had been a hard and long process. But, but the more I had to speak in front of others, the better I knew I would get it, could get it in. I started speaking in front of others, others at a young age, but I was never good at it. I knew a practice, so I was going to be able to get better at this. It took me a while to finally understand that in order to get better, I would have to practice uh, in order to not get nervous during the real thing. Public speaking has been both a skill and a building for me because I've developed as a speaker since I began doing it more, but it has also been a challenge for me because I still sometimes get nervous from doing it. Public speaking is something that I will always strive to do better for because I know that I would have to speak in front of others for the rest of my life. So what, what this is, is a picture of the debate and I had to speak in front of the public. Uh, so group work was another skill that I had to do this semester. I didn't really know how to do group work that well, so I wasn't really good at it. This, week, this was because I didn't want to accept listening to other people's orders and how they wanted to do things. I only wanted to do things my way, and once I accepted the fact that I can't always have it my way, I should accept others and listen to their ideas as well. Uh, group work was one of the things that I knew I was going to be in my life too. 
And this was one of the reasons why I chose to take the MPS class. Group work is something that can be applied to working, because not everyone wants to work with some people. But in order to get a job done, you need to set, aside, set that aside and just work. This is what drives me to want to do more group work, and why I joined it. As I joined, I figured that this would help me with my group work and establish new skills that I could apply in the future. So if this is this is a picture of me and a Cody working on our robot for our chemistry and conflict project. Not a I said you. Oh, I said you. Uh, so, writing about a certain topic was another skill that I had, but this affected my grades more than helped it. Writing was a villain that I have always disliked and chose not to deal with as much as possible. But as I got older, I have to rely more on writing and less on drawing pictures. Writing was one of the things I couldn't do well. But to practice against it, I figured I could get better knowledge of it in order to become a better writer. Writing about a certain topic was a villain for me because it tied me down to limited options and had me focus on things that I really didn't want to write about. Something that did help me, though, to better my writing was by having a freedom of writing. This was in the way of blogs where I could uh, express my own opinions and what I felt. An example of me writing was blogs. Doing many of these blogs and learning to get better at this had helped me with my, my real writing. And soon enough, I was able to face my bad writing skills and start to get better at them. My skills created a writing to help me further my writing skills and apply them to a certain topic. But as we practiced many more blogs, I was able to get the hand of it and also improve my writing skills. So, thinking on my feet was another skill that I had acquired. An example of this was in Socratic Circles. Uh, while doing Socratic Circles, I have to think of something on the spot and support it whenever it is. One second, we may be talking about something from the past, then switching about something from the very end. In the years before that I had done these Socratic Circles, I was never good at them, but this may be because I didn't know about the topic and I didn't really read. I also felt nervous about the answer that I may have given. Uh, the only way I knew that I was ever going to get better is to find a way to think about something to talk about. A tool that I use to help me with Socratic circles are notes. And I could always read off the notes in case I had forgotten what had happened. Doing these notes made it successful for me to finish the task of Socratic circles. Uh, the last skill that I had is good communication skills. So having good communication skills is a key part of all of the power that I have because I need good communication within a group to take down the enemies and finish our task. An example of good communication that I was supposed to do was talk with my partners outside of school to, get, to finish our project that we didn't finish in class. In the past, from not communicating with my partners, this had made us do something that we weren't supposed to and in the end, suffering with a bad grade for a miscommunication. So, in conclusion, over the past semester, I have faced many challenges, but also used my skills to help my learning. Thank you. Thank you.